Pack, set, go. Traveling Podcast presents Travel Star Tuesday. Oh, look at that. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another amazing podcast, Pack, Set, Go. We have a special guest today. I mean, every guest is special. Every guest is special. First of all, shout out big homie Smalls behind the scenes, executive producer of the show. Shout out Smalls. Thank you, Smalls, for making this happen. And uh, without further ado, our main guest, our only guest, the star-studded... <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Tell them, tell them your name, tell them how to find you. Like What's going stuff. on? What's going on? I go by the name of Icy. Um, a lot of y'all would know already. Um, find me. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram at so underscore icy dot, um, at, on Instagram. Yeah, so icy on So icy, right? So, yeah. so icy. S-O underscore I-I-C-Y. Got you, got you, got you. Do you want the clap or you want the like the regular rock and roll applause? Because Smalls does everything behind the scenes. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Smalls actually works. That's crazy. That's what he does. I've I mean, never seen Smalls do anything but stand there. I, man, pal, <laughs> there it is. Like Smalls just, uh, we're here, we're here, we're I've here. I've never seen Smalls, Smalls do anything. Do the intro, My please. Bad, Smalls, do but... the intro. It's okay. Do the drum roll, please. <laughs> thank you. All right, all right. No, cut, 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 cut. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get it. So, first off, I want to say, your IG page is. Fabulous! It's like it's crazy. It, it reminds me of where I want to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 dead serious. Like you travel, you travel like me almost similar. You know, we have a similar style of traveling. But you we... be in like the 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 trenches of the third world countries. I don't, I don't okay. Leave the okay. So you're not going to like Nicaragua. Cambodia. I will go. I'm not leaving the resort. Though. Okay, it's okay. So I'm not leaving. So you resort. resort person. So you yeah. like you like small. You like hot water, cold water, fork knife. Oranges. I got a I got a fear of being kidnapped. I oh. got a fear, like, like if if what's to happen, I would be the one they would want to take. So you're that important that people want to kidnap you? You trying to say? I got a fear. Yeah, I feel like not that important, but I feel like if the kidnappers were coming, I would be the prize. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So if you got kidnapped, like, what do you think they would ask for? Like one million, two million, three million? Uh, listen, um. After the Britney Griner trade just now, I don't know. I, I might get two first round picks in in in, in, uh, in El Chapo. El Chapo, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Well, hopefully your next trip is about safety because on this podcast we go to places that we come back from. So let's. Hope. I actually wish I had the courage, to, like to go, like got, like I I really enjoy your Instagram, like with like Thank especially you. when you was on uh, we where were you boxing at? Thailand, Thailand, yeah, yeah, Phuket, yes, very very rough. But like just mixing good. with the people and stuff, like yeah. Like, like yeah, like I I wish I was. I, I'm not. I, I need to be at the resort. What you should do, how me and Smalls used to do our trips, is that we find a place that's definitely cheap, uh-huh. and then when we get there, we find a driver that we trust off of the site. You know, mm-hmm. put that like that fake New York look. I'm like, mm-hmm. mm, you look like a liar. You know what I'm saying? So we try to just do like a quick, quick glance of a person, and we trust them. We rock with them. So we meet a driver, and he takes us to places. Where there's it's not on the map, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell a driver take me places that you will go on a Friday night, not where tourists goes. Where would you go on a Friday night? And that's how we get started. Uh huh. And then the next day we go to like his neighborhood. And then- it's kind of like that everywhere though. That's the funny part. Like it's like it's like that all around. Even like in the U.S. Like you could uh, take me to this part of Brooklyn. I've never been there before. And True. Nowadays, and- yeah. And that opens up the door for everything. But I need, I don't know, they might be saying something I don't understand behind me. I ain't got no phone <laughs> reception. I don't know. That'd be the joy of the trip because we don't speak their language and it's often just body language and trust. You know what I'm trying mm-hmm. to say? But since you're the prize, I recommend that you just stay near the resort because if you go past the resort and you don't have the proper skill set, you will definitely get kidnapped. Because I know one time we went to a, I think somewhere, we were somewhere in Africa. I don't, I don't want to say we were in Chad or maybe like, Sierra, Sierra Leone, but somewhere dangerous and it didn't look good. But Smalls is six seven, so and it, I like to just, be familiar with my area. So I gotta know, like, all right, if something happens, where can I go? Oh, okay. So like you, stuff like safety wise, like so say you need a like, phone. So you a, need a, a phone. wild, like say a wild jaguar come out the rainforest or something. I need to know where to run. If a jaguar comes out the rainforest, I think you should just stand still. Just stand still because you're not gonna outrun because you're not gonna outrun the jaguar. So. That's just gonna be a bad story. You don't know. You don't know what could happen when your adrenaline <laughs> pops in. And you you don't know what could happen. Oh, man, Jack. So so <laughs> so that's good to know. So you're going somewhere tropical, like somewhere like South America, where jaguars live. That's your next adventure, probably. Um, 
Instagram been giving me a lot of Bali Indonesia ads for like the past three months, and I've been like considering it. But I just seen that they passed a law that you yes. can't have sex unless you're married. So it's like I'm not trying to go to jail for having sex. That's a that's a key thing. I just heard about that. Um, Bali, they say now that if you share a room with a, a girl and they catch you, yeah, you know they they have to catch you first. Something they, do they have people they, like this by the door, like this listening. I don't like, know, but if they catch you and you're convicted of having sexual relations with a woman and you're not married, you're going to jail for like 10 years. So, that is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's kind of scary. That but is When crazy. I was in Bali, it was a couple years ago. That's like two or three years ago. So they didn't have the rule. Maybe the rule was in place, but they didn't tell us the rule. Or maybe it wasn't enforced. Yeah. Because they have rules. Like, you know, some countries, you can't have alcohol. Yeah, like, and a lot like, of countries, like, like, like it's Maldives. They be knowing alcohol. the laws, too. Yeah. They be knowing the laws, too. So you have to really... Make sure when you travel these places that you know the rules and the layouts of the land. You can't just go to places and like, yo, we're here. Even but, Dubai sometimes is kind of funny, you know. Dubai is tricky because you wear That's the wrong. Style, right? I've been to Dubai once. I've been to Dubai once. I had a good time. But, like, you wear the wrong thing at the wrong time in the wrong area, you can go to jail. Wow. <laughs> you can go yeah. to jail. Especially, like, they, um, the laws out there is more stricter towards, like, females, though. Yeah. But they, um, it's, there's a lot of places where alcohol isn't allowed as well, so... Yes, it's, it's, it, it get tricky. Like it, everything looks fun. Like when you see other people posting like the fun stuff, but then like those <laughs> th- that time where they're not at at the spot. Like let's like like I say, you probably out like two hours throughout the day. All right, the other twenty two hours, like you're just <laughs> in the hotel doing nothing. Yeah, exactly. pretty much. Speaking of trips like Dubai and and places like these places that you've been to and where I want to go to next, um, what's next on your radar? Like you want to go like besides some somewhere where you could have a good time, relax and. Like basically be off be off guard. Like where you could just I'm trying to say be yourself. Um I wanna go to West Africa and East Africa. Um okay. uh a lot of I know a lot of West Africans, I know a lot of Nigerians, um, like especially in DC, I know a lot of East Africans and I wanna like me being comfortable with them, I wanna like visit like them. Like because, all right, if, if this is how y'all look over here, I need to go to the motherland. Correct. Where, like, correct. The plethora and, and see, of y'all. <laughs> see how it is. See how it is. Yeah. So, I, I would, I definitely want to go, like, Eritrea, um, Somalia. I know a lot of good Somalias. And I, I know a lot of Nigerians right now. And they make it seem so fun. But the other side of it, is, it doesn't seem. Yeah. Yeah. They have a bad stereotype that they're, like, Nigerians is, is a big scam country. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm trying to say? But then again, people... On the most millionaires that live in Nigeria that you, that, that you even know about. But the way you hear about Nigeria, Ni- Nigeria should be built like Dubai. Yeah, it should be. It should be. Yeah. Oil, a lot of natural resources they have, and it's mm-hmm. not. They, they probably don't work together. That's probably what it is. But I'm also not really a fan of long flights. Um, I do want to go. I've been to Tokyo about seven years ago. I want to go to Tokyo again. I had a that's ball a, in Tokyo. That's a that's a long flight. I had a ball in Tokyo. That's a that's a sixteen hour flight. So you know in Tokyo they got like the real life like Mario Kart, like you can yeah. drive in the street. Like I had I had a ball yeah. in Tokyo. I was in Tokyo a while ago. I want to say about like seven years, seven eight years ago to Tokyo. And that was a we flew direct from JFK straight to um it's the Naruto Airport, Naruto, and then we went to um Shibuya, and um small small little small little small towns within within um Japan, Tokyo. So it was cool. This club, the club they call Club Harlem. You heard about that club? Is it still there? Probably not. I don't know. I, I, it's a, I it's haven't been there in seven years because they they love American and Jamaican culture. Yeah, I, I don't so know how. A, a lot of a lot of stuff out there be replicas of, of yeah. out here. A lot of stuff out there. It's crazy. It's a lot like, of stuff out there be replicas of out here. I'm like, how does this? Like, you can go to Tokyo and it, and like you could go to a block and it'll be a replica of a 1998 New York City. Block. Yeah, I'm like. How does somebody in Japan know how to dutty wine and, and do all this type, all these dances? I'm like, no, but you, then you gotta realize, like a lot of Jamaicans, like they that don't come to the U.S., they travel to these places. Like a lot of Jamaicans, like go far, like they, I, yeah. I just didn't know how they did it. I just didn't know how. Like maybe it was a sailor, or just, like somebody in, 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 Probably, in the military, um, whatever war that was. That guy, <laughs> but you gotta realize that that's why, like, like there's a lot of Jamaican culture in London. There's a yeah, a lot, yeah. It's, it's big, I mean, Jamaican culture is everywhere. It's definitely big. It's definitely big. Because when we travel, we see a lot of different cultures and influences all around the world. Like, even in even with the Panama, you know, it's crazy how we saw, like, Indians. I did not have a good time in Panama. And I'm Panamanian. Really? As an adult, I did not have a good time. Wow. Panama's one of my top three places to visit. Top wow. three, hands down. Because when I went to Panama, I didn't do the regular stuff, like you said. You know, I do the adventure. I went to Bamboo. 
I don't know if you know where Bambu is. Mm-hmm. Bambu's like one of the dangerous neighborhoods they say in the world. And we went there. It was like, hey, welcome, welcome. Put the guns away. Don't worry. These guys are my friends. So we was in Bambu, and they showed us a great time. We went to Cologne Day. We was in the parade. They have us like in the front and they're holding the holding the the, the uh, Panamanian sign. I and think because when I went, it was like fresh off of COVID. And oh yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I did not enjoy myself. Yeah, go back. And it was raining every day. Yeah, it rained. It rains a lot. It rains. It rained every day. But yeah. Panama is a beautiful country. I it is. Know. Like I love Panama. Like I can name like La Feria, Santeria. Oh my goodness! I just uh, Smalls will tell you. He'll tell you. But Smalls. No, my late, 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 late. He's, he's, he's. Smalls got to get the notepad ledger and let me know like the, the place. <laughs> yeah, to go, way to go. Not you to know go. what I'm saying? Traveling with him is easy because you know he looks like a bodyguard. Like he's, a, he's like my bodyguard. Yeah, that's know? why it's easy for y'all to go to these fucking <laughs> <laughs> these pits and these yeah, caves yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because nobody's gonna mess with Nobody y'all. Mess with us, yeah. Like hey, like either either we shoot, either, you either go rob them or take a picture with them. They choose B all the time. They never want to rob us. It's like ah, not this, not not, not these two guys. <laughs> it's crazy. So. So we have Panama, talk about Bali. So on this part of the show here, me and Smalls like to offer you a, a free trip anywhere around the world, anywhere in the world. But the only catch is you have to leave within one hour. Grab your passport, your keys, head to the airport. So where would you like us to send you? I would go to Cancun. Cancun? Mm-hmm. That's it? Yeah. Cancun. Because everything I... I need from a trip I can find in Cancun and every I know oh. everything is I'm I don't have to you said I got an hour I don't one have hour. to pack, I don't have to pack because I know exactly what the mall is when I get from the airport okay and and it's ratherly cheap so I don't have to worry about <laughs> small <laughs> like he's easy <laughs> he's right easy to, to please Cancun because it gives me Miami it gives me tropical everything I need I can yeah. find in Cancun Quinta Root we know it's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's your favorite hotel in Cancun since you obviously um, go there the like. Star. Which one? A barrel star. A barrel star. Okay, okay. Star. And that's, and that's on the strip. That's that's in the hotel zone. Yeah, it's right by. Damn, Senor Frogs. Or no, it's not. It's not that far down. It's like ten minutes down to like going toward the, that main strip. Like ten yes. minutes going toward the airport. Okay, so it's is it by the um by, probably by the mall. Yeah, it's like five minutes from the mall. It's five see, minutes from the mall. I knew it. So, see, that's how I said. Like, I, don't have to, I, don't, I don't have to pack. <laughs> I can just go right to the hotel. The mall is so, right there. So give me a typical weekend of in your life in Cancun. Like, what would you do if you get there on Friday? If I get there on Friday, uh-huh. um, depending on what time I land. Because, you know, check-in isn't until... Say, say three. I land at three. Check-in is at four. All right. So you could you could roam the resort. Got you. Um, no, if I land at... Usually, I'm not a packer. Um, cause I'm last minute with everything. So I'm not a packer. So if I land at three, I'm going to go to the hotel, get my band, get ready to be checked in. Then I'm going to take the five minute drive to the mall, which is like yeah, five minutes away. Um, the clothing out there is way cheaper than here. Like, okay. I could go, like what I'll play $50 for in Zara would be $12 there. Yeah. So I could get a weekend worth of outfits for a hundred And they have your size. Cause <laughs> yeah. there's no size in Cancun or whole Mexico that fits small. Especially there's, 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 there's no size. That's like everything. the biggest size they have is like an extra medium. And that's not enough for small. Small is like, <laughs> like a 14X. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, you go to the mall. Me. Then once you, <laughs> once you come back from the mall, now it's checking time. You check in, you look at your room, you see what's going on with the resort. Um, the, what I liked about the Barrel Star, they have the um, they have the hotel side and they have the villa side. Uh-huh. So now you can pick and choose like what activities you want to do, see what the pool looking like, see what the beach part looking like. Then you know you kill time there, you eat. Now sun start going down. Now it's time to hit the strip. You might want to stop at a uh, Taboo. Okay, okay. So you can stop at Taboo, get some. That's my um. That's what, I mean. This is what I did last time I went there. Stop at Taboo. After Taboo. Then you can hit the strip where Senor Frogs is at, the um, um the strip club, the 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 crown hookah spot, or like they got a like, yeah, it's like that a, alley. Yeah, the, the, the alley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like I love it there. Yeah, be de- yo, that's dangerous. You know that, right? I've never not had a good time there. Okay, but be careful in the alley because once you pass that pizza, it's like a pizza uh-huh. a pizzeria and a hookah spot. Uh huh. Oh. If you go if you go too far down, I heard they say the Mexican mafia be over there. That's what I heard. I stay with a crowd at. Okay, good. I good, stay good. with a crowd at. They don't bother us, but I heard. Yeah, I, I, I heard stay, stories. I, heard I stay stories. with the crowd. Once you pass the lady with selling the little, the little bracelets, they be everywhere though. Okay, okay, it's like it's like it's like five. No, but like once you pass like the um where the senior frogs is at, yeah. and the other I forgot the name of the other club that got like the cow theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, once you pass that, you go through the alley. Yeah, everything everything is right there in the middle. 
Yeah. I stay right there. You gotta be right careful. there in the middle where I can be seen. That's a dangerous alley, y'all. Please, please, please. Go there in the daytime. Don't go at nighttime. At nighttime is when it's lit. <laughs> but they watch you. Like people be actually watching you. you yeah, but you gotta know how to move when you travel, gotcha. especially if you're by yourself. Like you don't give yourself the attention that you Facts, facts. Cause when people see like New Yorkers or people from the States, we automatically predators. Like like they look to prey on us because they think we have the money. You know, in our pockets or you know, they probably it's be just, doing better than us sometimes. They don't even know. I it. Like, you guys richer than me. I'm only here for four days. You're here for life. No, nah, I mean, but how I go is if if I'm like if I'm leaving the res- if I'm not taking a picture, I'm going to sweats. Okay, like yeah. I'll get dressed to take my picture, but then like once I'm leaving the resort, I'm putting sweats on, flip flops and tank tops. All you need, all you need. Putting, I'm taking sweats in my debit card. Debit card. So yeah. you don't carry you don't carry no cash mm-hmm. that much. They rob you like that. Not rob you, not physically know, but rob you, pick, pick, pick but pop. once they see that you have, like, you don't, if you don't frequent somewhere, you don't know, like, what the prices are. Yeah. Like, they could charge you $15 for this cab ride today, and then it's $50 tomorrow. That's a good that's Yeah, a good so, fact. once you tell them. In Cancun, you're right, because if I take a cab in the daytime from, from the mall to, say, I don't know, say, the end of the strip by, by the, um, Fist Americana. Uh-huh. It's $10. Uh-huh. Then at 10 p.m., the same cab ride. They want fifty dollars. It's fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, like it's like how did that even happen? You ain't you ain't getting me. Yeah, I know better. Yeah, Cancun cab drivers. You gotta be careful with them. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. Cause now, well, cause now when you kick your debit, you can pay with their money. Like you can pay with pesos. And pesos. You're yeah. Right. So that's that, that's Don't a good tip. That's a good tip. That's a good tip. Smalls, write that down because Smalls <laughs> carries. Never mind. Because they're like <laughs> once they see you with the cash. Oh yeah, you Smalls become, does this. Like, Let's say if you're somewhere yeah. and you're about to pay your bill and you pull out yeah, the cash, that's what he does. They, they see that you have cash. Yeah. Now, if I'm somewhere and, I'm in, and the bill comes and I just tap my, you don't know. It could be you seven dollars on that. Yeah, card. you don't know. You don't know. Smalls carries cash all the time. And then like, you try to like and, rob me from my car. I could cut it then, right off. And then also in um in um in Mexico, it's it's like there's no pesos really. It's American money they want. They yeah. Don't want, they don't want your pesos. Yeah. They don't, they don't want no pesos. They don't have pesos. I ain't seen no pesos in my life in Mexico. Because the the value of the pesos, I think, is like. I remember I spent I, I, when I went to, I, went, I was I was clothes shopping or something and I I know it was like two thousand pesos or something like that. No, when I was at uh what's this taboo? It was like the bill was like two thousand pesos, and in my mind I thought it was a lot, but the bill was actually like one hundred and twenty dollars. That's not bad. <laughs> that's that's great. That's one hundred and twenty dollars. Great tip. All right, so now this part of the show we have gifts for you for being on our show. Like we appreciate you. For, Taking your time out of your Cancun life. To I appreciate the invite. I appreciate so, the invite. We have something for our merch shop. You know, something nice. It's, 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 it's a gift bag. You'll definitely like it. It's definitely your size. Okay. Usually we give away for free for no reason. But we could ask you a trivia question if you want to ask a question. Uh, first of all, I, I, y'all owe me one from the last trivia question I got right. We do? Okay, talk to talk to our, our uh, yeah, I, I got that, to talk to Smalls about small that. About yeah, 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 the trivia question was the... um. The, the the country named after the state and I'm like I know that because I live in that state. Oh, Georgia. that <laughs> yeah. was easy. So, oh, we get you a gift for that? Nope. Smalls, <laughs> give him a gift, please, for that. That was like 14 trivia's ago. So, do you want to take the free gift or do you want to take a chance to answer the question right to get the free gift? It's up to you. I like guarantee, so I'm gonna go with the. I answer the question, but I'm gonna take the free gift. So, take, so, so no trivia question. You want the free gift? Yeah. All right. So you won. Clap it up. 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 He won. He won. He won. He refused to answer the question because he might not. Have to, he might know the right answer. Okay. What was What was the question? It's 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 up to you. It's it's either we could do people, we could do state capitals or city capitals. It's up to you. It's up to you. People. Peoples. Yeah. Okay. Let's do peoples. <sighs> Good luck. Okay. People in Trinidad are called Trinidadians or Trinis. Right? Uh huh. People in Barbados are called Bayesians. Right? Uh huh. Easy enough, right? What are people from Turks and Caicos called? I know this. Hold on. I've been to Turks. I've noticed. Damn. It's gonna be a while. Damn. Small. Let's order some pizza. Damn. Because the fucking lady at the resort told me this. I damn. Damn. I don't know. <laughs> What's that? Hello, Domino's. 
<laughs> what are they called? It's gonna be a while. <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> Cause you gonna say it, I'm gonna know it. I'm gonna be mad at myself. I love it. <laughs> Can you guess at least? I can't. Take the free gift and just take your wrist. Just clap it up, 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 clap it up. I would be so bad. It's an easy answer. And you're a traveler. I would be so bad. Yeah, don't worry about it. I might wear this tonight. What's today? It's a gift for you. It's your size. It's your size. Yeah, I'm wearing this on Travel Tuesday. <laughs> Definitely. Say, oh, you know the, the, the travel lifestyle? All brothers? right, y'all. This has been another amazing podcast with Icy. <laughs> you can find him at it's, it's um so underscore I-I-C-Y. C-Y. And he didn't get the question right, but he got the free gift anyway because we're givers. Shout out to Big Smalls, the executive producer of the show. You already know who I am. Find us on www.thelifestylebrothers.com. We're in all platforms. All social medias everywhere. We not we ain't hard to find. We're not hard to find. And uh thanks again for trying, okay? <laughs> thanks <laughs> for trying. It's all about the attempt. Yeah. It's all about the attempt. Smalls, let's do the uh, drum roll please on the way out or just leave. <laughs> just leave, right? All right, I'm out of here. See Smalls over. Smalls <laughs> <she's> lazy. <laughs> We've been cleared for landing. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day.